And with that, welcome to PMD Dark Race Revenge. Uh, this hack does not have a title screen, uh, but anyways, uh, this hack is part of the story of PMD Retold, uh, which was a web series uh, created by Yakomon. So, if you want more context, um, I link the uh, PMD Retold channel in the description, and uh, well, anyways, uh, this hack is also made by Yakomon, so the same creator, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this one should cover the, what normally would be the EOS post-game, because obviously PMD Retold is a like retelling of the original PMD story. Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> it's time for story time. Already? My, how time flies. Okay, just a minute, dear. I'm just finishing washing up. And uh, done. Yay, story time, story time. Go, Team Firespark. Ah, uh, yes, calm down, my little bundle of electricity. I write two places a book in the ground. The cover says The Adventures of Team Firespark. It says final chapter. Doesn't that mean no more adventures? I'm sorry, dear. That's always the sad part about reading a story. They all have to come at an end. Uh, have English, I can't read. They all have to end at some point. And, uh, but this chapter is a long one. So you have plenty more story to enjoy. Yay! Our story begins on a stormy night. Mm, it sounds like a storm is coming. It's been a long time since the last storm, though uh, the weather has been quite... Uh, quiet for a good while now. So, in a way, a storm would be refreshing. You know, storms like these remind me of our big adventure. When we stopped uh, the destruction of time, it already feels like it happened a long time ago. Yeah, it does feel that way. Going to the future, fighting the Yalga at Temple Tower. When I think about it, it does feel like all those things were a long time ago. Especially for me, having disappeared for some of that time. You know, Sparky, I wonder. Now that the Yalga has been defeated, time has returned to normal and peace has come to the world. Because of that, it became possible for everyone to evolve a luminous spring again. Everyone but us, that is. Oh uh, yeah, I remember. Hmm, why can't I evolve? Why can you not evolve? It may be influenced by a distortion in the fabric of space. Distortion? The fabric of space? Why that should be, I do not know. But your presence is somehow related to the distortion of space itself. And as a result of that, you cannot evolve. No, it is not only you. There's yet another. The one at the edge of the spring is also forbidden its evolution. What? Mitchell too? Ah, that voice. It said there was distortion in the fabric of space that prevented our evolution. But what could that mean? We make time go back to normal, but maybe some things are still out of whack. Uh, lightly. I think the storm's getting closer. Uh, we, we should get some sleep now. Mm, agreed. Good night, Sparky. Good night, Mitchell. Hmm, but as Mitchell and Sparky were pondering the state of the world, they were oblivious to the fact that the world was still far from safe. For the exist for the I can't read, man. For there existed a Pokemon who was far more dangerous than Primal Dialga. A puppet master that moves in the shadows of darkness. Pulling the strings towards the world's ruin. This is proceeding nicely. This forced distortion in the fabric of space itself is growing. Which means I finally regained the full strength of my power. Ah, the distortion of space and dimension itself. If it expands further, my own power will be amplified. And this time, I will make sure that the human and his little friend are taken care of beforehand. Thanks to them, I failed to destroy time. But things will be different now. 
Yes, I must eliminate Mitchell and Spock. They shall not be allowed to interfere again. Hmm, the Explorers retold Dark Rise Revenge. All right, all right. And we do actually get a starting screen. Wow. Well, anyways, as I mentioned earlier, um, it is part of the retold series. Uh, yeah, there's. I think I said most of what's relevant already. So, uh, well, anyways, welcome to Dark Rise: The Revenge. This is an alternative take on the Dark Cry arc of the explore of the original Explorers games. Before we get started, let me introduce you to the exploration team you will be playing as. This is Mitchell. He's the human turned Pokemon of the story. Such a happy little fire monkey. And this is Mitchell's partner, Sparky. He's the same personality you're used to in Explorers partners. Kinda timid, but fiercely loyal. One final thing I'll mention is that this hack is connected to another fan work of mine called Peem the Explorers Retold, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, to those who haven't seen it, don't worry. Peem the Retold closely mirrors the original story and any lore differences are minor and will be fully explained in-game. So with that, let's get you into the story. Actually, there's something else to take care of. Beginning in this Eli... In <laughs> Initialization process. Initial it Bro, why can't I read today? Initialization complete. The game will also be saved now, so you don't have to go through the, uh, that long pre-menu intro again. Alright. Okay, now let's get you into the game for real. Alright. Chapter 1. The Slumbering Forest. Oh, that Pokemon sounds scary. Mm, it certainly does. So, when are Team Firespark gonna fight them? Patience, dear, the story only just begun. As the sun shun, shone, 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 anyways, on a new day, Mitchell and Sparky continued their journey as exploration team members. Morning, Sparky, looks like the storm passed over. Am I ever glad. Storms are fun and all, until there's lightning involved. Mm, I still can't believe that you, an electric type, are afraid of lightning. I may have grown a lot since I met you, but there's still some things that still make me timid. Anyway, uh, we, should, we shouldn't stay uh, here for too long. All the good jobs will be taken off the boards if we don't hurry to the guild. Here's to another good day of exploring, Mitchell. Alright, exploration team, quick advice. As you are playing as an already established team, there's a fully stocked inventory waiting for you at Kangaskhan storage. Also, if you want to change Mitchell or Sparky's default moves, you can change them for free at the Electrify link shop. So go on and choose the items and moves that best fit your playstyle. Alright. I see. Ah, uh, team sets. Alright, both level 45. Uh, we have... wait, moves. Flame Wheel, Torment, Facade, and Tower. Uh, torment. I forgot what Torment does. Prevents the Tiger from using last move its use. Uh, ah, right, right, right. Okay, and you have. Agility, broken. Discharge, uh, Thunder, and Iron Tail. Alright, alright, alright. I may replace Thunder with uh, Thunderbolt if I can. Depends. Uh, items I do not have any. Oh, so Team Charm left already. He did say. Hey, did they say anything about coming back to Treasure Town ever? Uh, when they left after the expiration, they said they didn't like to stay in one place too long, so they won't be coming back for a while, I guess. Oh. Poor man. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do we have? <laughs> I accidentally press B. We have defense, uh, like a power bar. Oh, yo. That's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. What? Um, wait, wait. I have to. <laughs> I have to um, check a few things. Info. Um, keep it in the treasure bag to give benefits. Okay, and you do. Okay, they definitely come with me. Um, we take a tot orb, and do we have? We don't have. Um. 
orbs to stun enemies, I think. Looks like. Uh, no. Does not seem like it. Well, we're gonna take the stun seeds with us. Uh, Max Elixirs, definitely. Will I take Reviver seeds with me? Sure. I'll just take the orb berries with us and uh, two vague apples, and then we can choose ribbons. Um, special defense, attack, 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 speeds up healing, prevents poison. Do we have heal seeds actually? Uh, we do. So we don't need the poison scarf. Um, I think Mitchell is a special attacker, if I'm not mistaken. Both of them are special attackers, so I'm probably gonna take special band and zinc band with me. And give. Um, the special band to Mitchell and the zinc band to Sparky. Alright. Good morning to you all. I heard you saw the mysteries of Aegis Cave. Uh, that's mighty great of you all. Okay, I don't know how much of these are changed uh, in comparison to vanilla, but anyways. Team Red is a legendary exploration team. The team consists of three members, Galite, uh, Roserade and Rhyperia. They're set uh, to never be denied from getting the treasures they target. All right. Their exploration team is even more famous than Team Charm. The most famous would have to be Team Raider, all right. See, I see. So uh, let's quickly check the move stuff. It's still just five. Okay, that's linking moves. Can I? Info, no, remember. I can't see my head, my strength, my memory, you know, my service in mind. Tiny jolt, yeah, okay, that's vanilla stuff, I think. Okay, but. I can only link moves here, right? I can forget moves, I can switch moves. Maybe I'm just stupid, but nah, anyways. Uh, right. I do, I do have 10,000 poke I just realized. I can quickly check the Kaglian store, actually. Uh, you have... That, 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 and that. Alright. Good. Worth it. I'm just gonna put the rest of the money away. So I didn't lose it if I faint despite the... Uh, four reviver seeds I have now. Don't ever speak to us again. Okay. Agreed. <laughs> Alright, time for some fun. Hey, it's Marina. Oh, Team Firespark, hello. It's great to see you again. Uh, it's nice to see you too, Marina. How is everything with you and Azuril? Actually, where is Azuril? You two are usually inseparable. Uh, Azuril and I had a big day yesterday. My brother is so tired, he's still sleeping in right now. I tried to wake him up, but he must have used up all his energy playing. Well, kids can be like that, I guess. Yeah, they're little balls of energy, but when that energy runs out, they need a lot of rest. Uh, make sure you say hi to Azuril for us, okay? Okay, bye, Team Firespark. It's nice to see Maril as happy as ever. Ah, Mitchell and Sparky. Hey, Chatod, uh, what's up? I was actually on my way to see you two. Officer Magnuson has requested to meet ye with you at the guild. Officer Magnuson wanted to speak with us? Is something going on, Chatod? I'm afraid there is. Officer Magnuson has the full details. I'll let him explain when you meet him. Hurry along now, we must make haste. Okay. Do you think Chatot will stop treating us like we're still guild members? Somehow I doubt that. Uh, let's see what Magnuson wants. If he's requesting us specifically, it must be something serious. Presenting Team Firespark as your requested officer. Thank you, Chatot. Team Firespark, I suppose you have questions about why you're here. However, now is not the time for an existential crisis. I must ask you ask for your assistance with an ongoing investigation. We need your help. 
Help to capture a nefarious outlaw. So why ask for us then? If it's just an outlaw request, why didn't you just post it on the notice board? Good question. They say asking questions helps to expand one's knowledge. Unlike myself, who can only acquire knowledge by having my circuits rewired. But let's not discuss our internal circuitry. We must capture this outlaw. This Pokemon's behavior is unlike anything we've seen before. Uh, we have collected this dossier of our investigation so far. Please take a look. Hmm. So the outlaw's name is Stantler. Hmm. Stantler is accused of hypnotizing innocent Pokemon into a deep sleep. However, this is a sleep that is unable to be cured by Chester Berries or Heal Seeds. At this time, it is unknown why Stantler's hypnosis causes this permanent condition. He was last seen hypnotizing Pokemon in Midnight Forest. A permanent hypnosis? That does not sound good at all. When I heard about the troubles in Midnight Forest, I knew you two were the only team in, tre in Treasure Town to handle the job. So, Team Firespark. <coughs> Your mission is as follows. Enter Midnight Forest, evade Stantler's permanent hypnosis, and apprehend this suspect. You two may have graduated from the guild, but consider this your assignment until told otherwise. You are to concentrate all of your efforts on capturing Stantler. He must not be allowed to spread his wickedness to other areas. Alright everyone, we'll take this job on. Let's go Spark, off to Midnight Forest. Right, let's make sure we double check our preparations before we head off. Let's get this done. Ah, that's great. Be sure to not get caught in Stantler's hypnosis. You should take these along as a precaution. Two insomniscopes. Okay. Looks like I'm going to get rid of my held items. Thanks, Wiggly Tough. We'll be sure to make good use of these. Uh, explosion team, quick advice. The insomniscopes you received will be applied as an effect inside Midnight Forest. Because of this effect, the item will not appear in your treasure. Ah, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's that just kind of sounds like vanilla dialogue. Did we have any, like, sleeps here or something that I missed, maybe? Because I'm pretty sure they will be uh, somewhat helpful, at least. I'm pretty sure this one is reset, so let's see, take. We have no sleep seats. Okay. Good. Or not that good actually, but you know. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. How many items do we actually have with us? Four pages, oh god. I took way too much with me. Anyways, Midnight Forest. Hmm, so this is Midnight Forest. They weren't kidding when they named this place. It's the middle of the day and yet it's so dark. We'd better be extra cautious then. And we can't forget our insomniscopes either. That will make sure we don't fall victim to Stantler's hypnosis. Right, let's get this done, Mitchell. Okay, uh, move shortcuts are enabled, okay. Yeah. Move shortcuts is, uh this thing right here. Cape traps exist. All right. I do want, um, okay, that's a violent seat. I don't want to wake the venom up actually, so I'm just gonna let it sleep. Seems like most of the Pokemon are asleep here actually. Oh yeah, that kind of makes sense actually. Do they wake up? No. All of them are asleep. It does 100% make sense. And that's a very cool detail, actually. Doesn't prevent me from running into dead ends though, unfortunately. Also then, that's a very good time to mention that we're currently in the middle of a hack jam, actually. Hack jam, um... Six, I think it is? Yeah, um, and uh, well, it ends in roughly one week, it ends on the 14th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
So yeah, you can look forward to a lot of hacks then. Yeah, because we uh, we are uh, we are basically anticipating a lot of hacks. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so far, of course, not really that difficult. Anyways, we seem to have reached the midway point, kind of. A lot of these Pokemon. I wonder if they know they're trapped like this. Uh, let's hope they're at least having nice dreams. I wonder how far this dungeon goes. It would be nice if our wonder maps told us how long a dungeon is. But that would take the fun out of exploring unknown places, I suppose. Uh, we should keep moving. Let's go, Mitchell. Mm-hmm. I mentioned it scream. What's going on? Why do I feel dizzy? This, this isn't a dimensional scream, is it? No, this feels different somehow. Ah, Cresselia. Who are you? I am... I am Cresselia. Cresselia. Your, your very existence is pushing the world toward ruin. The world to ruin? How am I doing that? Because you are in this world. Because you exist here, if you remain, the world will be destroyed. Aha. Uh -huh. What was that all about? I guess that was some sort of hallucination. But why? There must be some reason why I saw that. Are you coming, Mitchell? Come on! Well, there's nothing I can do about this now. I have to stay focused on the mission. Hmm, Standler. Well, yeah, again, Hackjab 6 is currently in the middle of running, and I've already seen a bunch of very promising uh, projects in the uh, progress channels for this on the Sky Temple Discord, so um, yeah, you could definitely look forward to the Hackjab 6 hacks. <laughs> Well, okay, well, everyone's still asleep. I can, however, get rid of the uh, unusable Brick Break, and I don't think I'm gonna blow on Brick Break with any of these um, Pokemon. Well, it's still no sign of Sandler so far. I hope we find him soon. This place is starting to give me the creeps. Wait, is that... Sandler! Whoa! <laughs> You're the only Pokemon we've seen in this forest that's awake, which means you must be Stantler. Um, aren't you going to say something? Why are you hypnotizing all these innocent Pokemon? I don't think Sandler is kind of there itself. Anyway, I've, uh, I've heard of the right to remain silent, but this is ridiculous. Mm, I hear you. No, I'm starting to get the creeps. Uh, let's just take him out and bring him back to Magnazone. On it. Mm -hmm, mm hmm let's see. We have stuff. Mm. I mean, actually, am I? I have special attack. Yeah, okay, I'm, I have way better special attack. I just need to hit anything. Okay, that was that. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah, but that was almost too easy. He certainly didn't put up much of a resistance. It was almost as if he wanted to get caught. But it's not our place to worry about things like that. Let's bring Stantler in, uh, in for a rest and take him to Magnazone. Right. Thank you for apprehending Stantler. If I wasn't a robot made of composite materials, I would be feeling joy right now. Alright, no problem. We're always happy to help. Although, even though we arrested Stantler, the Pokemon of Midnight Forest are still stuck in that permanent hypnosis. Do you have any leads on yet on how we can wake them up? Ah, uh, none yet. 
that is why we shall be questioning this criminal immediately. Now move it to the station with you. Hmm. Uh, mm, I hope we can get some answers soon. Mm, I'd say this is one odd situation. Yes, it is certainly odd. Stadler are known for their ability to hypnotize Pokemon. Are not known for their ability to hypnotize Pokemon, let alone on this scale. What do you mean, Channel? Forgive me, I should have warned you about uh, this before the mission. However, I didn't want to be seen questioning the good officer's judgment. Uh, typical Chattel, always bending to authority and never questioning it. Stadler are Pokemon known for reality-bending illusions. I illusions Certainly. They say Stadler can distort the reality of Pokemon around it. Doing so would cause significant hallucinations. But we didn't experience anything like that when we, we fought Sandler. Right, Mitchell? Uh, yeah, right. Hmm, you don't sound too sure of that. Uh, well, I think I did see an illusion before we fought Sandler. But it was so confusing and quick that I don't remember much of it. it I sorta of just spaced out until Sparky snapped me out of it. Hmm, how odd. In any case, you needn't be worried uh, by anything you saw. Illusions are just that. Illusions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I suppose you're right. Something is definitely troubling Mitchell. He looks pale. Just what did he see? <clears> hmm. <throat> and so, with standless power, the first seeds of doubt has have been sown. Very soon. Mitchell would begin to quiz question his entire existence in this world, before being offered a liberating salvation from his curse. Come on, come on, I want to know what happens next. This is getting spooky. No, no, it's getting late, dear. You don't want to stay up too late again. Otherwise, you'll fall asleep in class like the last time. Aw, okay. Good night, sweetie. Good night, mom. Sure. Let's save our adventure. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2 Azurel's Nightmare. The next night. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Alright, calm down. Uh, dear, we haven't even started yet. Team Firespark had successfully arrested Stantler, but Mitchell was still troubled by the illusion he saw in Midnight Forest. Mm, it's hard to sleep. I just can't get that illusion out of my head. I mean, I know it's supposed to be an illusion, but why did Stantler show me that? It just feels so specific. Maybe he could see something in my thoughts. Now that's stupid. I've never had any thoughts about whether I belong in this world or not. And I've never heard of a Pokemon called Cresselia before, either. But then, why did that illusion appear? And why that Pokemon? I really should have told Sparky about this already, but I've only just processed everything now. Well, I, can't, I can either keep thinking about this or I can try to fall asleep again. Hopefully I can start to figure this out tomorrow. Feels like I'm dreaming. I guess that means I've fallen asleep. W wait, isn't that... Cresselia! Cresselia! Why is that appearing in my dream? I suppose if I'm dreaming about this, that illusion must be playing on my mind more than I thought. Mm, I'm not a manifestation of your consciousness. Huh? Then what, 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 then what are you then? I told you before, I am Cresselia. I have the power to inhabit the dreams of other Pokemon. What you see before you is no illusion. Okay, I guess I'll just take that at face value. But since you're here, I have some questions about what you told me in Midnight Forest. You said that my existence is driving the world toward ruin. What did you mean by that? Isn't it obvious? You are a human who came from the future. 
a future that no longer exists. You are not of this world anymore. That is creating the distortion in the fabric of space. Distortion in the fabric of space? And if this distortion of space were to expand, this world would be ruined. The distortion of space will, will ruin the world. You are a presence that must not exist in this world. You must not be here. Wait, please tell me more. Mm, I can't. Fading away. The next morning. Hey, Mitchell. Come on, Mitchell. Wake up. It's morning already. Uh, uh, morning, Sparky. Did I sleep in? Sure did. I got worried you weren't going to wake up. It's not like you... It's not like you do oversleep. <clears throat> hey, look at this. The weather is great. That dream I had. It felt strangely real. Cresselia said they were a Pokemon that can inhabit dreams. But is that really possible? No. There's no way a Pokemon would be able to do that. There must be something else influencing these uh, visions. In my dream, Cresselia said, if the distortion in the fabric of space expands, the world will be ruined. Oh, the distortion of space! I have heard that somewhere before. Why can you not evolve? It may be influenced by a distortion in the fabric of space. Ah, that's it! I've heard that a luminous spring! Which means these dreams and visions are just my subconscious worrying about what I was told back then. But that also means the part in my visions about spe spatial distortions must be true. Maybe that needs to be our new mission. To find the source of these special uh, spatial distortions and put them right ag again. Yeah, I can't read. Are you daydreaming again? Come on, let's get uh, let's see some energy. Once we do our preparations in Treasure Town, I'll tell Sparky about my visions. Whatever is going on, we need to set things right. You want energy, eh? How about this? Yes, that's the Mitch Lino. Let's make this another big day. All right. Ah, Mitchell and Fire, uh, Mitchell and Fire Spark, bro. Mitchell and Sparky, hold up. There's big trouble, by golly. I'm glad I caught you. I reckoned y'all were about to go out for the day. Whoa, you do. Slow down. Take your time. What's wrong? Why are you in such a hurry to find us? Th there's trouble of it. Little Azuril. The little Azuril is in trouble. What? Azuril is in trouble? Uh, Maril brought the little fella to the guild. Uh, they'll be in your old sleeping quarters. Uh, right, then let's hurry, Mitchell. Uh, agreed. What's wrong with Azure? Is he alright? Mm, there seems to be no danger to his life, but... But what, Sunflora? What happened to him? Remember yesterday when Azuril was sleeping in after our big day at the beach? Well, he's been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping, but he won't wake up. What? He won't wake up? Yes, I tried waking him over and over, but he's still asleep. I got worried, so I brought him to the guild. Mm, he seems to have nightmares. He seems to be tormented by someone. He's been like that the whole time he's been asleep. It's like he's suffering. Is he having a bad dream? Hey, hey, that could be it. The way the little fellow is tossing and turning, it looks like he's having a nightmare. Mm, hey, chat out. Do you know how we can wake up Azur? Hmm, unfortunately I'm fresh out of ideas too. It seems to be the same ailment that was afflicting the Pokemon of Midnight Forest. There's no way we'd go to the dark and scary place like that. Hmm. So that means he wasn't put asleep by Stanford. Hmm. Since he's asleep, why can't we can't feed him anything like berries? Uh, we are uh, uh, we are at our wits end trying to come up with the uh, cure. But who'd know a way of getting rid of a nightmare? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, um, everyone, can I say something? What is it, Bidu? 
Now I got to thinking, since we can't make the nightmare go away, if we somehow figure out what kind of nightmare he's having, maybe we can figure out why the little Azuril can't wake up by golly. Alright! We should look into Azuril's dream. So how do we do that? Look inside a dream? Yipes, gosh, I'm sorry. Actually, that might be possible. What? Is chat serious? That kind of thing is really possible? Hey, 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 how do you know that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We find Drowsy. If anyone can do it, Drowsy can. Drowsy? I know that name somehow. Ah, Sparky got it. Uh, do you remember? We thought Drowsy as an outlaw way back when we were first starting out. Ah, yes, we would like to do that, Drowsy, you believe. It is what it is. And then I text. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's it. He was the first outlaw we ever caught. But why Drowsy? Uh, this is just a rumor, mind you. But they say that Drowsy has the amazing ability to enter others' dreams. Really? He can go into dreams? It's strictly rumor. I couldn't vouch for its truth. However, the possibility exists. Okay, I get it. So if we were to ask Drowsy, maybe he'll be able to get into Azuril's nightmare. So that means what I saw in my dream last night. Hey, Magnemite. Uh, what became of Drowsy after you guys arrested him? Drowsy was subjected to intense grueling by Officer Magnuson. He expressed remorse. He vowed to never break the law again. So we released him. Hey, hey, but did he really straighten out? Sounds really sketchy, eh? Corpus, that's not the time to be quivering over that. So, where is Drowsy now? He has gone away to cleanse his mind and spirit. He stated that he would study self-discipline at Mount Travail. Mount Travail? That would be in the mountainous region. So I guess that's where we've uh, got to go then. Alright then, off to Mount Travail. Yes, we have to go find Drowsy if we want to save Azura. Oh, Sparky, Mitchell. Wait for us, Maril. We promise we'll come back with Drowsy. Oh, Sparky, Mitchell, you always, always help us. Thank you so much. It's decided then. We'll leave this matter to Team Firespark. Everyone is worried about Azura, but let's have Team Firespark handle it. Everyone else should go on as usual. Alright, everyone, time for work. You're in charge of finding Drowsy, don't fail us. Don't worry, Guildmaster, we won't. Okay, let's move it. We're off to Mount Travail, let's find that Drowsy. Alright. Hmm. Okay. That's basically just what we had in the cutscene earlier. What's happening to the Lazuril is uh, worrisome. It sure as hell is. Alright, before I go to Mount Reveal, I wanna quickly... Okay. Why is there a Rotom phone? <laughs> Yo-ho! Team Firespark. Over here! Ah, what's the... Who's, who's that shouting? It sounds like it's coming from the bottom of the crossroads. Don't just stand there and come closer so I don't have to shout. It indeed is a Rotom phone that is blinking. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Rotom. I've uh, I've heard you two are an exploration team of extraordinary ability, and so I set out on a journey across the continent to meet with you. But on my journey, I happened to cro I happened across the greatest discovery, one that will revolutionize your dungeon explorations. Uh, revolutionize dungeon explorations? That's a big call. Indeed it is, but first, let me ask you a question. Do you guys not have phones? Phones? You mean a Fion? We did meet a bunch of Fion once, but we didn't bring any back with us. No, no, not Fions. Phones. Yes, smartphones in fucking BMD, alright? <laughs> you see, us Rotom have the ability to possess electronic machines. Although in a world as primitive as this, we find it impossible to do that. Until almost or almost English. Until almost as if it was by Deus Ex Machina, I found the greatest machine ever. 
presenting before you the Rotom phone. Yeah. By possessing this device, I know everything that ever was, everything that is, and everything that will be. Basically, he just has Google. <laughs> That's just one problem. This phone only has enough processing power to run one application. And so, by this cruel twist of fate, I am limited to providing you with dungeon information. Dungeon lengths, enemy levels, common items and traps, and even the chance you'll encounter a monster house. Despite this, I hope I can be of some use to you. So, what do you say? Will you take me on? Well, I barely understood anything you wrote on set. This whole phone thing is just giving me a headache. What about you, Mitchell? Well, it would save us a lot of time and preparation if we knew what we'd face inside a dungeon. I'd say we take up Rotom's offer. Okay, Rotom, we still don't quite understand what you are, but if you can give us useful information, that would be a big help to us. Alright, trust me, you won't regret it. Whenever you got a dungeon to go to, I'll be close by to lend you a hand. Alright, information on Mount Trevelyan. The accessing database, 19 floors, pack a lot of food items and max licks because there's no rests up in the dungeon. Each floor there's a 6% chance of encountering a monster house. Enemy levels range from 10 to 49. Okay. The most common items are Geo Pebbles, Ormaris, Warp Seed, and Max Elixirs. The most common traps are Mud Traps, Groom Traps, Sticky Traps, Warp Traps, and Seal Traps. That's a lot of traps, but that's because they're all having a similar chance of appearing. I hope this information helps on your quest. Alright, it does indeed help me. Hmm, okay. 19 floor dungeon. Let's see. What do you sell? Mm. Alright, both of them do not have that much ease. So there's 6% chance per floor. Hmm. I mean, I do have two Totter Orbs, but I don't have any Orbs that, like, uh, stun the whole room or some stuff. Oh, it never pet- okay, that petrifying. Petrifying is not what I'm looking for. I guess I could take one with me. Mm. Okay, that would also be useful. I these burn orbs. Alright, I guess that's just bad. Okay, we should get going. Hmm, so this is Mount Travail. That's what my wonder map says. According to Magnemind, this is where Drowsy can be found. We have to hurry finding him. Yes, we have to be at our best like always. Everything's happened so quickly today. I still haven't told Sparky about Cresselia yet. I have to wait until tonight. We need to focus on finding Drowsy now. If Drowsy really can enter dreams, then that means my encounters with Cresselia weren't just dreams. And I might really be the cause of the distortions in the fabric of space. Well, you might are. Okay, man. Mm, swagger. I almost used an escape orb accident. Uh, that's a blink you see it, alright, that's good. Ah, oh, yes, discharge, all right. Room damaging move. I forgot. Wait, I will, I will definitely keep discharge disabled until I really need it in the um monster houses. Yes, I assume there are going to be some. I mean, six percent chance per floor. Per floor. 
I mean, statistically, there has to be at least one that I will encounter, so... Yeah. Sleep seat, that is good. Really useful, and I'm already getting hungry. Okay, but you just ignore me, then. Yeah, completely fine with that. Um, or and Mary. And I can actually also wait others. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, thank you for spamming another agility. Sleep seat. Maybe I should disable agility for now as well. And give it for some actually uh, useful situations. Well, that's bad. Hard special attack drop. Doesn't matter though, because I don't find any Pokemon on that floor. Well, and there's the statistically... Um, statistic thing for Monster House. Okay, let's see, let's see. Discharge and Agility. Disable Iron Tail and Thunder. Um, do I use Totoro? I mean, I'm in not that bad of a position, but still, okay, I'm gonna use a Totoro. Let's see, we have Shedinja on here. Also, I'm just gonna quickly speed that up because that's gonna take some time. Alright. Um... Alright, another discharge. Dup, 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 dup. Okay, I think I can... Now go back to Thunder and Iron Tail. I think most of them are now dead. Danger. You have recovered, all right. Of course I missed facade. Okay. Can I like... Hit? Thank you. And of course you step onto there as well. And he had a sharp special attack drop, that's bad. Um... Okay. Next elixir has become sticky and unusable. Alright, I'm not gonna go and collect boxes. Ah, uh, sunny weather. Well, that's good for me. That's a bit annoying. I do like that damage. Alright, and I'm starving already. Uh, big apple. Good. Out of flame wheels, unfortunately. 45 damage. Okay, it's not stabbing. That makes sense that it doesn't deal that much damage, and I used flame for all by accident. Holy shit. Well, I didn't. Pay enough attention to my HP, apparently. Uh, well, that almost ended very badly. You know what? I'm sure Spike can handle that one. Yep. Good, alright. Gonna heal up a bit. Then floor 9 of Mantra Vale. <laughs> Only 10 more to go! Woo! Special defense rules sharply. Can I please hit? Thank you. Hmm. All right. That's just a roundabout, basically. 
course, I... God. I, of course, also did not bring an, uh, an orb to get rid of the sticky stuff on the items. Because, ha ha, why would I? Hmm? Or something like that. Um... I am going to just swap the sleep seats, though. Alright, floor 10. That's an onyx. And that was my last flamethrower. I just kind of have to pray that Sparky does his job. Okay, um, you are out of moves. Seems like I'm going to use up two max elixirs now. Hmm. Alright, some good damage. Hmm, warp traps. Well, let's just hope he doesn't die. Alright, everything is fine. Fog. The electric type moves are weakened. Also, accuracy is lowered. I think. <gasps> Holy fucking shit! Can you stop doing that? Well, that's one reviver seat down. Down so. Well, that's two reviver seats down. Fucking hell. Oh, okay. Uh. Uh, one, two, three. Ah, I still have three. It's funny, if I would have just gone right, I would not have lost a single one. Because stairs are here, but uh, you know. Especially try to keep the uh, ground Pokemon at a distance. Oh, come on. And at least I see where stairs are. Ah, yeah, right. Reduces level by one. Next eye seat. That's probably some orc seat I can switch, right? Ah. Well, since I can't use the escape warp, anyways. Please just don't kill me, thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Can you, like, not use thunder, you very intelligent man? Or Pokemon, I mean.
All right. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stairs. Okay, would be cool if you go down. Thank you. Could have been a rare seat, could have also been just a useless seat. Who knows? Anyways, uh, you are going to get this charge back for this one. Alright, you lost your discharge privileges again. Blinker seed. A food item went bad. Cool. Two more floors. Whoopsie. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. All right. One more floor. And another item has become sticky and unusable. I think these traps are really one of my most hated ones. Alright, level 46 on Sparky. I went too high up. Stairs. I don't care about anything. Stairs. Just give me stairs. Alright, last floor. Uh, do I have anything I can switch? Yes, I can swap this shiny box. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be farming for any specific items, especially since I already have a specific item for both of them. And now we're also level 46. Oh. Okay, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna die on that last floor. Definitely not. Mount Travail Peak. Hey, isn't that drowsy there? Drowsy. Well, you too. What did you come here for? Uh, I've kept my nose clean. I've stayed out of life of crime. Wait, that's not it. Uh, we're not here to arrest you. But we did come here to find you. We need your help. Ah, uh, me. You need my help. Yes, uh, you remember that little Azuril, right? The Azuril you rode to Mount Bristol? Uh, every day I'm up here, I think about that poor Pokemon and how I caused it so much pain. Well, you see, Drazi, that Azuril has been locked in his sleep and won't wake up. Ah, uh -huh, that same Azuril. Uh, no one knows why he won't wake up. That's when we heard that you can possibly enter dreams. That's the reason why you were up here. So, Drowsy, how about it? Will you help us? I... I... I did a rotten thing to that little Azuril back, uh, way back then. I don't know if doing this would ever make up for it, but if it would help Azuril even a little, I don't know how useful I can, but I'd be glad to help if you'll let me. Ah, <laughs> Drowsy. Of course we'd let you. We can't do this without you. Lead me back to Azuril. Let's not waste time. Ah, uh, it's a back down the mountain this way. Quick. Hmm, how's it going, Drowsy? Can you do something? Oh, you two. I want you to get stocked up for an exploration. Tomorrow I'll send you on an exploration of Azuril's dream. What? So that means... You guessed it. It is possible to get into Azuril's dream. Yes! 
Isn't this great, Maril? <clears throat> we can tackle the mystery of the unending nightmare now. Great. But I want you to be extra careful when you're inside this kid's dream. There's something rotten about this dream. I have a feeling that something has gone bad or gone wrong. Hmm. Is that right? I guess that means we'll have to be on our guard. Uh, one more thing. I want only you two to enter the dream. I'd prefer to go as well, but in all honesty, at my skill level, I think I'd slow you down too much. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you, but... Nah, there's, there's no need for that. Sending us into the dream is more than enough. Thank you, Drowsy. Uh, we'll get ready for tomorrow's mission. Mm, I guess this, uh, this is all we can do for today. We've had a busy day. Let's head, uh, let's head back and rest up for tomorrow. My, you must have been tired tonight. Until tomorrow, sweetie. Sure, that's safe. As night fell, Mitchell finally had a chance to talk to Sparky about his visions of Cresselia. Hey, uh, Sparky? Hmm? What's up, Mitchell? The fact that Jowsy can enter dreams, it bothers me. What do you mean? Isn't it a good thing that he can do that? He can use the power to find out what's wrong with Azura. It is good Jowsy can do that. That's not why it bothers me. You see, last night I had a strange dream. A Pokemon named Cresselia appeared to me saying that they had the power to enter dreams. At first I thought it was my mind playing tricks with me, but after learning that Drowsy can enter dreams, maybe Cresselia did too. Do you remember anything else about that dream? Well, it was kind of frightening. Cresselia said that the spe spatial distortions we heard about at Gr Luminous Spring are growing and are driving the world towards ruin. Cresselia claimed that I was the reason these distortions were growing, by existing in this world as a Pokemon from a future that no longer exists. That is causing the distortions in the fabric of space to grow. Uh, are you serious? Are you sure that's what you heard? Yes, this isn't the first time Cresselia appeared in front of me either. Back in Midnight Forest, Cresselia appeared there too. At first I thought it was just one of Stadler's hallucinations. But I guess not. Mitchell, I... I just can't believe it. Sparky? There's no way you, you would be causing these spatial distortions. We don't even know what these distortions look like. Mm, you have a point. But I wonder, what if the Pokemon of Midnight Forest that are trapped in sleep, and Azuril too, what if that's how the spatial distortions are manifesting? Mitchell, I can tell you're scared right now. But we can't jump to conclusions. Maybe Azuril's nightmare is caused by these spatial distortions. We won't know until we investigate what's troubling him. Hmm, I guess. I guess I'm just afraid that what Carcelia is saying might be true. That I really am the cause of, dri of driving the world to ruin. And if it's true, we'll work out a way to fix it. We'll do it together, like we always do. You won't be left to fight this alone. I'll make sure of it. Right. Thank you, Sparky. For a moment, I forgot just how strong our friend really is. I've, uh, yeah, I've helped you through so many tough spots. I guess now you're finally going to repay the favor. So that uh, is English. It's what being a good partner is for. It's getting late. We need to make sure we're well rested for tomorrow. Let's make sure we don't let everyone down. Tomorrow, we solve the mystery of Azurel's nightmare. Right. Good night, Sparky. Good night, Mitchell. Am I? Am I dreaming again? If I'm dreaming, that means Cresselia will probably turn up again. Well, I can see a Pokemon coming. Guess Cresselia is coming again. Or not. Ha! Huh, another Pokemon. I guess this one has the power to enter dreams too. Hmm. It appears Cresselia got to you before I could. W wait, you're not working with Cresselia? Fortunately for you, I am not. 
allow me to give you a proper introduction first. Greetings, my name is Darkrai. As you surmised, I am indeed a Pokemon that can enter dreams. However, unlike Cresselia, I'm not here to intimidate you, rather to assist you. You're here to assist me. That is correct. Since Cresselia has already appeared before you, I don't need to forewarn you about her appearing before you. Perhaps you would be more interested in understanding why they are hunting you down like this. Cresselia keeps mentioning something about distortions in the fabric of space, and that somehow my existence is causing these, uh, those distortions to happen. Why does Cresselia think like that? It may be hard to imagine, but Cresselia and I were investigating the growing spe spatial distortions as a partnership. During our investigation, we found out about a Pokemon who originates from a future that no longer exists. It was then that Cresselia and I had a falling out. Upon learning of your existence, Cresselia grew into a fit of rage. They've made it their sole purpose to eliminate you from this world. E eliminate? Cresselia believes that if you were to be eliminated, these spatial distortions will reverse. I, however, am more skeptical. The sacrifice of life to save the world, it seems so cold and heartless. Sacrifice of a life. I wish to find an alternative to, that, to the senseless witch hunt. And so I come to you, in the hope that we can cooperate with one another. Takrai, I'm thankful for the help, but I don't have any information to help you right now. For starters, I don't even have a clue what these spatial distortions look like. Ah, perhaps that is something I can help you with. Has news reached you about a, a terrible uh, ailment befalling the Pokemon in Midnight Forest? Y you mean the Pokemon trapped in a permanent hypnosis? Are you saying those were caused by the spatial distortions? Indeed. The cause of their permanent slumber lies within the growing distortions of, the f of English, the growing distortions in the fabric of space. However, that is the extent of my knowledge about the subject. Now, I would enter the dreams of one of these sleeping Pokemon to gather more information, but doing so would alert Cresselia, which would do our cause more harm than good. I see. Takrai, I can help. Tomorrow my partner and I will be helping a Pokemon in town called Azuril, who's also fallen into a permanent hypnosis. We've enlisted a Pokemon to enter his dream to figure out what's wrong. Well, well, that is a surprising news. If you were able to enter a dream of a Pokemon who has fallen into a permanent slumber, that may provide a distraction to allow me to slip into their dream unnoticed. Are you sure that plan is safe? Won't Cresselia know you're in the nightmare? Hmm. Cresselia would be far more concerned that you have found a way to enter dreams as well. Hmm. You know, I hadn't thought of that. That way that we may run into Cresselia. You and your partner have shown fascinating levels of resilience in the face of adversity. If I didn't think you could match Cresselia's power, I would have advised against entering Azura's nightmare. You... You're right about that. Sparky and I have certainly overcome a lot of tough situations in the past. Very well then. But about your partner, I have one last thing to ask of you. Please keep this little conversation between us, not even your partner. As I alluded to before, Cresselia is no doubt monitoring my movements. If word was made public that I was around, it would put all of us in danger. Hmm. I don't like that, but okay. I would rather be cautious than risk blowing our chances by at reversing these distortions. I trust your judgement. I must be going now. The sun has almost risen, and you will be soon awake. Farewell for now. Alright, alright, alright. The next morning. Good morning, Mitchell. Let's give it our all today and help wake Azuril up. Yes, and hopefully we can get some answers about these spatial distortions too. I wish I could tell Sparky about that, but I made a promise to Darkrai to keep their identity a secret for now. Even from Sparky. Hey Mitchell, are you okay? Could Acelia give you another bad dream? Oh uh, no, not at all. In fact, I slept as soundingly as soundly as an unhatched Togepi. Okay, if you say so. Verouse, you should be waiting for us in our room at the guild. Let's hurry. 
All right, all right. Oh, hey, Rotom. It's amazing, the knowledge that his phone has. I even got information on the nightmare. Okay, 17 floors. Okay, B3, there's this... From B3 on, there's a 6% chance of becoming murderers, okay. Enemy levels range from 5 to 51. Ornberry, Scape Ops and Graveler Rocks. More sticky traps. And PP0 traps. God fucking damn it. The mud traps and sticky traps have a higher chance of appearing. Why? Good luck making Azuril from his nightmare. Yeah, okay. Let's see. We have a lot of stuff with us now. We can first of get rid of these things. Ah, uh, good vision, right? Um, get rid of one here. Mhm. Mm Didn't I have an orb to clean these? Uh, cleanse orb, right? Yeah. I'm gonna take one cleanse orb with me, just in case. All right, then let's see. What do you all sell? You got the seat. All right, then what do you sell? Uh, fossil orb and sunny orb. All right, not useful for me. And let's just yeah, deposit the rest here. All right, I think we're good to go. Possible for you to enter dreams, alright. That's excellent news, of course your journey has yet to start. True, true. Alright, alright. Oh, uh, are you two ready to go into the dream? Uh, I'm pretty sure we are. <clears throat> yep, we're all set. Good. Then, come over here. I'm going to send you into Azuril's dream. Here it goes. Alright, alright. Hmm, is this inside the dream? Looks like it. Sparky, Mitchell, <clears throat> can you hear me? It is, uh, it's me, Drowsy. Uh, yes, we can hear you. Good, uh, it sounds like you're safely inside. As I've said before, there's something very bad about this dream. I don't think I need to remind you, but be careful in there. Okay, thanks, Drowsy. We'll make sure to be on high alert. Let's get going into the dream. Sure, sure. 17th floor of nightmare. Alright. Uh, Ooh! <laughs> well, that was my first step. Uh, also, I'm really not looking forward to all these sticky traps that I'm sure I will encounter. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, double edge. Um, let's just hope facade hits. Thank you. Okay, nothing happened. Good. I, I did uh, bring. F no, I did not bring food. So I wasn't ready. Perfect. Uh, well, <coughs> that's bad. <laughs> Probably gonna end up keeping myself alive with uh, or married to some stuff like that. At least as long as I don't find anything in here. Okay, mud trap. Okay, another mud trap. <laughs> but I mean, if it continues like that with like relative ease and uh, having some stairs in spawn rooms, uh, then it's all good, probably. Also, food wise. Yay, 47 damage, so that's on good 42. 
Uh, let's see. I just hope Sparky can deal with it and uh, be good. Good. Okay, stairs. Hmm, what a fit. Okay, nothing bad happened. Good. Use Torment by accident. I would really like some stairs and less mud traps. Okay, S uh, s attack drop. Meaning flame wheel is basically useless right now. Okay, does this go continue up here? Okay. That thing has range. And what does the troll up do again? Uh, pull it. Ah, oh yeah, right, right. So if I ever encounter a cackling in store for some reason inside a nightmare, uh, yeah, I'm gonna steal. Hundred thirteen damage, and you're still alive. Okay, that's just a rock. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, are we looking on belly? 35 left and I'm only 7 floors in. Well, that's going to be interesting. Hmm, attack drop, that's not that good. And another attack drop, also not good. Hmm. Okay, we got lucky that I had no items in that room. Sleep seat. So I guess the insomnia scope is also removed now. Because I can, you know, fall asleep. And I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna take the ordinary with me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need those as like a food source. Where are those points? Here. Okay, they appear to only be like low level? He's out of moves, no he isn't, he just chooses to not attack. For some reason. I mean, not that I'm complaining, at least it's preserving uh, power points, but eh. Some of these things are really tanky. Okay. I do want the gummy, um, because I can... Oh. Well, that was a consumable item? For some reason, I've never heard of it before. Uh, anyways. That probably also means it did not do anything for my belly. Uh, uh, which means we are starving. Uh, I'm going to wait a bit uh, until I'm... Uh, until I'm... Not that. Uh, until I... I can't speak, man, until I'm a bit more low to actually eat something. Or I'm just gonna eat this seed, actually. The original plan was to just eat an orange berry as soon as I get to, like, the six seeds or something. Okay, why am I spamming flamethrower on a Meowth that's one hit? Um, I don't know. 
Okay, um... Of course he runs onto it again. You're very intelligent, my friend. Or not. Holy shit. Uh, that's not good. Um... Okay, okay, we... Don't wanna die. So... Are you serious? You literally just warp up no oh god yeah hmm. well so much to not dying I mean I guess it's fine we are down to how many revival seats uh, three okay that's that's still more than enough I hope Alright, warp seat. That's a sleep seat. Uh, I am gonna eat the plane seat. Get a bit um, of hunger points back and actually collect the sleep seat. Because that's a good seat. Alright. For some reason, Miltank just did not want to attack. Dragon Pulse. Since when does Clefairy learn Dragon Pulse? Yeah, I guess also no stairs here. Nope. Okay, this one... Like... Okay, um... Uh... Do I have like an... No. Um... I'm going to give Sparky Norm Berry. And then actually uh, warp him somewhere to avoid him uh, to avoid him dying, you know. Because oh god, of course there's a sleep trap. Come on, I almost got you. You like it. Uh, Okay, why is he refusing to attack though? Does he now don't have any moves? He still has power points, he just doesn't want to attack. Alright. That did almost get him killed though. Hmm, blowback, quick seed, alright. Hypnosis. Okay, that is. Something. Please kill, thank you. It's also actually pretty dangerous, like the hypnosis. Thing. If I get hypnotized at the wrong spot, you know, <laughs> basically dead. Anyways, um, I think that's just a path connecting these two. Yeah, no room in between. Oh shit. I do know that you are not on a low level. And floor 13. Two of them are sleeping. I'm going to try to let them sleep. Floor 14. We're almost through. Invasion orb and uh, roll call. Actually, I'm gonna take the roll call up with me. Um, Tata, Spurn, Raider. Simply because last time uh, Spiky would have died without the warp seed, and the roll call all just brings him back to me. You still deal a lot of damage with Psybeam. 
And he is boosting himself. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. Um You know what? I'm just gonna Cool, they warped into the same room. Both of them. Well, that's just my luck apparently. Ryan. Of course. Well, that's the secondary Baba Seed gone for this dungeon. Gem is a good rock type move, so okay, damage. I'm just gonna go safe and eat an orange berry. Don't want to waste more revival seeds. And zinc band has become. Oh, of course, it did. Okay, stairs. I really not want to, you don't want to use a, a max elixir for the last floor. <laughs> I'm just gonna pray that facade is going to be enough. Or oh, that Sparky can help me in most of the situations. Also lucky that power gem missed. That would have dealt quite a lot of damage, I'm pretty sure. One I just need. Yes. There they are. And we're through the Nightmare Deaths! We've gone, uh, we, yeah, we've gone pretty deep in here. It appears as if it's just one long path from here. Uh, we should keep going a little more. There's no, there's been no sign of the source of Azura's Nightmare yet. W what is happening? <laughs> Uh huh. It's a dead end. Azuril and a chimchar. Wait, that chimchar is. Excuse me, Mitchell. Where's my lost? I oh, where's my lost item? Okay. Okay. Could you show me where the item is now? <laughs> okay. Do you really think I care about your lost item? Huh? M my big brother. My big brother's following us, right? He's coming soon. Your big brother? You don't need to worry about him. After today, you're not going to be seeing him again. We Pokemon like your brother will have no chance in the world of darkness. And neither will you. Right, stop right there. That's enough, Mitchell. I don't know what these special distortions have done to uh, spatial distortions have done to you. But you're not hurting any more Pokemon. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. Do you really think you can save the day all by yourself? Especially now with my newfound power? Perhaps you need a refresher. Huh. Mitchell, no. Goodbye, old friend. Okay. Hmm. We're back to a broken um, temple town. A world of darkness. A world in which Pokemon live as they truly should be living. Embracing their true primal instincts. And in this world of darkness comes my crowning achievement. The rebirth of Primal Dialga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was... Horrible. What an awful dream. I... I feel sick. I don't understand. Why is Azure... Hmm. So you have seen it too then. The horror of the nightmare. <coughs> Who is... That voice. It's... Cresselia. That's Cresselia? Hmm. I cannot fathom how you've come here. But I find your visit ever so convenient. 
Especially since you now know what those trapped in permanent slumber are dreaming about. So you're saying it's not just Azuril that's dreaming this? Precisely. I've seen countless dreams of Pokemon frozen in sleep, and they all have one thing in common. They all show Mitchell's descent into darkness. But, but that's ridiculous. There's no way a dream could predict the future. It is true that dreams can take a turn for the wild and fanciful. But being in Mitchell's presence as I am now, I can sense the aura of distortion radiating from him. It is unlike anything I have felt before. On the basis of such overwhelming evidence, there is no other conclusion I can come to. Ugh. Cresselia, wait. I need to know something. I understand I might be causing spatial distortions due to the fact that I am a being from a future that no longer exists. But if space itself becomes distorted, why would the world be destroyed? If the distortion in the fabric of space expands, the power of darkness will expand as well. If this were allowed to happen, the consequences are grave. The entire world will be enveloped within a nightmare. Before awaken, uh, awakening to a paralyzed planet, a planet ruled by a leader who was consumed by the darkness. And that Pokemon is you, Mitchell. A, a paralyzed planet ruled by Mitchell? It, it sounds crazy. Mm, there's more than one way that a planet can be paralyzed. The world got lucky when you stopped the crisis at Temple Tower. But the same can't be said about this crisis. Uh, hey, Cresselia. What will it take to get rid of the distortion in the fabric of space? How can the space distortion be eliminated? There is but one way to eliminate the distortion. That is for Mitchell to be eliminated. What? Eliminate Mitchell? Ah, uh, poor Sparky. It would have been better if he didn't find that out. I've been waiting for this opportunity. The opportunity to eliminate Mitchell from this world. What? Wait a second. You can't, you can't eliminate Mitchell. We need to know more about what's happening. Hmm, so you would rather see all Pokemon swallowed up by the nightmare? That's not... that's not what I want. Surely this isn't the only solution, Cresselia? Surely there's another way out of this? Hmm, I'm afraid not. For it is only your existence that is dri yeah, that is driving the world to ruin. Ugh. Sparky, I want you to get out of here. Mitchell, what do you mean, get out of here? I am the one Cresselia wants, not you. I don't want to put you in an unnecessary danger. Uh, Mitchell, there's no way I'm abandoning you. We'll find a way out of this together. Damn, okay. So you wish to defy me too? So be it. I'm very sorry that I must do this. It must be done. The world must be saved. Every part of your existence. It must all end here. Prepare to meet your end. Okay. So, uh, yeah, stop. I cannot permit this. Hey, Darkrai. Hmm. Cease this senseless violence now, Cresselia. And who is that? Darkrai. <laughs> you! You just couldn't help yourself, could you? I thought I told you to stay out of this. Do you really think I can just stand by while you engage in a witch hunt without a semblance of rational thought? Who oh, shattered you pompous fool? I can see right through this plan of yours. You brought these two into the nightmare with you so you could slip in unnoticed. I did no such thing. Truth be told, I don't even know them. The fact that they are here is out of pure coincidence. But I admit they did provide a handy distraction for me. Well then? You've seen Azuril's nightmare for yourself. Does that finally convince you once and for all that I am right? Hmm. Well, this does prove that Mitchell is the cause of these spatial distortions. Uh, I caution using the need to solve this problem using violence. Pfft, so be it. There's no point carrying on while you're here. Consider yourselves lucky. The next time we meet, it will be your last day in this world. Alright, Darkrai actually... Being on our side? I guess. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> Cresselia. You always... Uh, yeah, you always were headstrong. 
What is driving this useless folly of yours? Wait, who are you and why did you save us? And they're gone. Hmm, Dakara didn't stick around long. I guess they only revealed themselves to Sparky because of how dire the situation became. But the fact Dakarai left so abruptly means they still want to keep their identity a secret for now. Still, I'm glad we have Dakarai on our side for protection. I doubt this will be the last time Cresselia will try to um, confront us. Ooh, that was close. Hey! Hello Mitchell and Sparky! Where are you? I think that voice is... Hey, so here you are. Rosie, why are you here? You were taking so long to come back. I got worried. I decided to be brave and came looking for you. Hmm, there's something dangerous about this place. We shouldn't stay here. Let's go back to the guild for the time being. All right. I don't get it. Dakrai sounded like they were a bad guy. But now they're a good guy? What gives? Uh, well, we'll just have to keep reading the story, dear. But that's tomorrow night. It is time for you to start some sleepy time. Okay. Good night, sweetie. Good night. Alright, let's save. Chapter 3, Monkey's Paw hmm. Mitchell and Sparky were worried about what the guild might think if they knew about Azuril's uh, prophetic dream. So when retelling what they saw in the nightmare, Mitchell and Sparkly, uh, Sparky only spoke of Cresselia. Hmm, I see. So you encountered Cresselia, and they said that Azuril's nightmare was caused by the distortions in the fabric of space. Yes. If nothing's done about it, all Pokemon will join Azuril in sleep until the planet's paralysis. That is what Cresselia said? Yeah. That is all true. This is a ter- this is terrible trouble to be sure. We've got to do something. So, Chadot, what do you know about Cresselia? I know the Pokemon, but only from you rumors. It is said Cresselia appears only during the night of the quarter moon. It is also said that this Pokemon can heal others' emotional scars simply with a gentle light from their body. Uh, they didn't seem so kindly. Yeah, they were really uptight about the whole situation. Well, you must understand, this was me all merely a rumor. There is one more thing I've heard about Cresselia. Uh, this Pokemon is said to possess a mystical power that can banish darkness. Hmm, the power to banish darkness. Hey, hey, so let's get this straight. If we don't do something, the world's gonna fall into paralysis, like when Temple Tower was collapsing. Hey, hey, that means we have to do something now to fix the space distortion. Hey, Sparky. Did Cresselia say anything about how the distortions of space can be stopped? What? Um, uh, how to stop the distortion of space? Uh, why are you so jumpy? Did, did I ask something weird? No, Drowsy. Um, Cresselia didn't um, give us any answers. No leads, hints, nothing. Not a thing! Yeah, I don't remember Cresselia saying a single thing about it. Ah, I see. That is unfortunate. Well, anyway, let's look into the distortion of space together. If we don't, we won't be able to stop the nightmare from spreading. Chatot. Yes, Kalmasa. All right, everyone. We'll disband for the day. And starting tomorrow, you are to individually investigate the distortion of space itself. Will do. All right, dismissed. Thanks for covering me back there, Mitra. When Derausi asked us if we knew about the distortions of space, I, uh, how the distortion of space could be stopped, I lied. I didn't even think twice about it. Uh, same here. If the guild found out that the only solution to stopping this was my elimination from this world, I don't know how everyone would react. Hmm, to stop the distortion of space. 
Means you have to be eliminated from this world. Is that something we really must tell everyone about? <clears throat> I mean, we don't have to tell them yet. That Pokemon who saved us, maybe they will find another way. I hope so, but if they really wanted to help us, they would have told us what their plans were before running off like that. We don't have any leads on how to find them. It would be easier if Darkrai told Sparky who they were, but I understand why they didn't. If we all went on an expedition to find Darkrai, we would be unwittingly uh, leading Cresselia right to them and jeopardize any hope of finding a solution that doesn't involve my elimination. Hey Mitchell, what should we do now? We don't have any leads to investigate and Cresselia could come back for you at any moment. I... I don't know either. I wish I knew the answer. What if... What if Cresselia is right? What if eliminating myself really is the only way to save the world? I, 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 I don't want to leave this world. I don't want to leave you alone, Sparky. Not again. No, oh, man. Ah, I wish I could think straight. All this worrying uh, made me tired. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Yeah, good idea. It's getting late. Uh, we'll have clear ads tomorrow. Tomorrow, I mean. can't sleep. It would be nice if I could. It would mean I might be able to talk to Darkrai again and get some answers about what actually happened in Lazurin's nightmare. I have to wonder. I understand that I'm causing the distortion of space, but how that leads to the world's ruin? I still can't believe it. I thought it was just the just that outlaw Stantler using his power to create illusions. I also dismissed that first dream I had as an after effect of it. But after learning that it is possible for Pokemon to enter dreams, and seeing Azuril's nightmare for myself, it's hard to believe anything else. <clears throat> it's hard to go on right now. What Cresselia says about how I will fall to darkness and cause the world to fall into paralysis, I don't want it to be true, but maybe it would have been better if I never return at all. Man. That's a thing to say, definitely. <clears throat> huh? Mitchell isn't here. Maybe outside? Oh, hey, Sparky. I couldn't sleep, so I've been up here, processing everything, wondering if the path I chose was worth it. What... what do you mean by that? When I thought the Alga a Temple Tower, I thought even though I knew that I would disappear. I did it because I knew I had to for the world to be safe, and I knew that even though I would disappear, the memories of what we did together would live on through you. It was that fact that allowed me to make peace with my disappearance. But then, I was given a second chance at life. A second chance to live it with the Pokemon I consider to be my closest friend. I was eternally grateful for that gift, and I vowed to make the most of it. But now, to think that this gift was all for nothing. That the bond we have could be meaningless in the end. That my return could cause the world to fall into ruin. I, I I want to be allowed to stay. I want to stay in this world. I thought after coming back that my life would have different would have a different purpose. But I guess it wasn't meant to have a purpose after all. And so maybe I shouldn't try and fight it anymore. Maybe I should disappear again. Mitchell I, I don't know how I could Oh it's sunlight. The sun is coming up. It's beautiful. 
It's another beautiful dawn. Oh, that's right. Seeing the sun come up this way makes me remember. I don't know if I ever told you of when I saw the sunrise like this once before. The first time I was with Sprout. With Sprout? Hmm, Sprout, the grove I would known since I was a child. Traveling together from the human continent to find a way of preventing the planet's paralysis. Although that incident we had when time traveling means I don't have any memories of that. Only the memories of what we did once we reunited. I wish he was here right now. Back when we returned from the future, that first morning was when I saw the sunrise from here. Sprout saw it too, and during that sunrise he asked me something. But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Sprout wondered why I didn't give up when we were faced by Primal Dialga in the future. I guess that struck him as being strange. At first I didn't know how to answer, I didn't know why I was so brave then. But when I thought about it, I began to realize something. Well, I wonder too. I really don't know. But maybe, maybe it was because Mitchell stood by me. Mitchell? Hmm, I managed to be brave because you were always with me, Mitchell. It was during that sunrise when I finally realized it. So that's what I told Sprout. Just before we lost him in the hidden land. Sparky, this is it for me. I'm taking Dusknor back to the future. Huh? W what? I can never come back here again. Watch Mitchell's back. Promise me. But, but take your take, uh, taking your place, Sprout? I can't. You must and you will, because you can, Sparky. You two are the greatest of combinations. Sprout entrusted me with his last wish to always have your back. It's why I stuck by you in Azurel's nightmare. If Sprout was your partner, he'd do the same thing. As long as you're still here, as long as the planet isn't paralyzed, I won't stop protecting you. And I'm not going to give up. There must be something that we can still do about this. There has to be a way of fixing things. A way that doesn't involve having to disappear. I, I... You're right. There has to be a way, even if it seems like there isn't one right now. We have to keep going, Mitch. Let's find a way out of this. Yes, thank you, Sparky. You've helped me find a resolve to keep going. So, I was thinking. It was time that was being destroyed before, right? And now the very fabric of space is becoming distorted. The destruction of time and the distortion of space. I can't begin to conceive of such things. Time and space. <clears throat> they sound like coexisting elements. I wonder if their troubles are related somehow. Do you remember when time was breaking down? Lapras uh, gave us a lot of insight into Temple Tower. If time and space are connected, do you think Lapras might know something about it? Hmm, Lapras? Well, thinking about it, it wouldn't be unusual if Lapras did know something about this. Mm, I say we go ask him. Well, then that settles it. Let's go see Lapras. He usually hang, uh, he's usually hanging around at the beach, so uh, let's hurry. Alright. Okay, let's first check Kekleon's doors. Uh, you have this thing that I want. Also, okay, that's the wrong one. Uh, what do you have? Stuff I don't want. Uh, okay, let's see. We can get rid of this one. Get rid of this. We have to. We haven't used them at all. I guess we're fine with those. Um, low back is not essential. We can get rid of that. 
Um, yeah, just I think that's fine. All right, to the beach they say. Gonna quickly put in the last 178. Hope I have. Hey, yo, Rotom. Technology is amazing. I know what we're done here. Going to explore before you too do. Although, I got too excited and short-circuited myself, causing some of the data to get corrupted. But I hope I can still be helpful to you. Alright. 24 floors with the rest of up to the 15. Oh no. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. God. On floor 15 and floor 20, there's a 40% chance of a monster house. Uh-huh, apple six gravel rocks, okay. The most common traps are sticky, summon, pp0, pokemon, grimy, and chestnut. Uh, caution, once you talk to Lapras, you won't be able to visit Treasure Town for a while. Do you still want to proceed? I think I'm good. So, uh, yes. Hey, Lapras, there's something we want to ask you. Uh, we're investigating the distortions in the fabric of space. Mm, the distortion of space itself. Yes, and uh, we'd like to learn anything that you might know about. Hmm. C can you help us? Do you know anything? I'm sorry to say, but I don't know anything about these space distortions. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's too bad. However, I do know of a being that embodies space itself. Palkia! What? A being that embodies space itself? Yes. Time and space are deeply connected. So just as Dialga governs time itself, so too there is a being that governs the fabric of space. But that being... who is it? Its name is Palkia. This being is said to possess the ability to, to distort space itself, and Spatial Rift is said to be its domain. Palkia. Oh hey, I think you've mentioned that name once before. When we were sailing to the Hidden Land, you mentioned a being named Palkia as one of the legend, a Pokemon of legend. I remember that too. Uh, when we were in the Hidden Land, we saw a mural of Dialga and another Pokemon. Uh, the other Pokemon must have been Palkia. So, if we meet Palkia, we might be able to learn more about these space distortions. So, uh, how do we get to Spatial Rift? Can you travel there, just like you can go to the Hidden Land? Hmm, I hate to disappoint, but I can't travel to Spatial Rift. I don't even know where it is. That is all I can tell you. Oh, uh, alright. I'm sorry that I'm not much help. Oh no, not at all, Lapras. Uh, even just learning about the existence of Palkia is a big help for us. We now have some... Have, yeah, we now have new information that might lead to something. Thank you. Well, I hope you can figure out what's happening with the uh, distortions in space. They sound quite troubling. Indeed they are. So, Lapras doesn't know much about the distortions of space either. That is unfortunate. At least we learned about how Palkia is the being who controls space itself. And that Palkia dwells in spatial rift. Palkia, huh? If we can meet with Palkia, we'd be able to ask about the distortion of space. But the question is, how do we get there? Hmm, I guess there isn't any point in worrying about it right now. Let's continue to look into this tomorrow. We can't give up now. Right, we have to find Palkia. If we meet with Palkia, I might be able to, get uh, might be able to avoid being eliminated from this world. There's still hope. That was a lot of Palkia <laughs> in these sentences. Oh, I know what's going to happen next. Really? What do you think? Okay, so... Okay, when Mitchell and Sparky are sleeping, Palki is going to break into their house like BOOM! And be all like, You dare distort spades without my permission! So, uh, and then kidnap them and take them to Spatial Rift. 
<laughs> you sure have a healthy imagination. That would be a good twist, but the story is going to play out a little differently. I actually don't remember how we get the Spatial Rift in the uh, normal post-game. <laughs> I forgot. Well, the encounter in Azurel's nightmare went off without a hitch. Mitchell suspects nothing. And by not disclosing my identity to his partner, I know that he has placed his full trust in me. And so, the time has come. It is time for phase two. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm starting to dream something. It's the accident I had when I first traveled to this world. Whoa, what was that? Are you gay? Thank goodness. For a moment I thought we were done for. Mm, my first memory. Ah, oh, no, hang on, just hold on to me. We're almost there, just a little further. The moment in time that changed my life forever. It's too intense, I can't. Hold on. Sprout, look out! Ah. <laughs> I lost my memory. Turned to a chimcha but found a lifelong friend in Sparky. Someone has collapsed in the sand. What happened? Are you gay? You're awake. That's a relief. Oh, hey Sparky. Wait, how do you know my name? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm Mitchell, your best friend. We're an exploration team together, remember? Mitchell? Mitchell. Mitchell? I thought I told you to stay away from me! Wait. Bucky, what is going on? G -g get away from me! Wait. <laughs> okay, okay. Apparently, we have a nightmare ourselves. I ran towards Sparky for what seemed like an eternity, trying to get an expl explanation about why he was running away from me. I was so focused on trying to catch up to Sparky that I didn't realize the world becoming more and more paralyzed, until there were no signs of life left. It's Sparky! Sparky, I, I need to know, what did I do to make you so hostile to me? What did you do? You should know what you did. Look around you, all of this is your doing. All of... mine? If you just accepted your disappearance, none of this would have happened. Instead, you've doomed us all. What are you saying? Weren't we trying to find another way together? But we found out there was no other way. And so, instead of accepting fate, you clung on to this misguided idea that you could still somehow change things. Sparky, you know I could never leave you like that again. Not after what happened last time. I would have let you go. I could have lived the life without you. I did it before and I would have done it again. But you were too stubborn to sacrifice yourself. Well now, look where your naive hope has gotten us to. Thanks for nothing, friend. I never want to see you again for as long as I live. Oh -ha. <laughs> hmm. It seems I've arrived at a bad time. Dakra, wait, you're not part of the dream, are you? I can assure you that I'm the genuine article. I can prove it when you wake up if needs must. I have so many questions I need to ask you. Back in Azurel's nightmare, I really appreciate you saving us, but... Why did you risk revealing yourself to Sparky? Your whole plan could have been ruined. Mm, isn't it obvious? Your life was being threatened. I needed more time to figure out if there was an alternative to a cold-hearted sacrifice. Mm, it was 
going to be my next question. Have you found anything that could avoid my elimination from this world? Darkrai? You are a time paradox. A being which should not exist. Azuril's nightmare gave me... Unequivocal? Man, English words. Proof that this paradox is the source of these spatial distortions. Unfortunately, on that point, Cresselia has me bested. I regret to say this, but I'm afraid you may have to say goodbye to the life you know. However, elimination is not the answer. That may fix the distortions, but the outrage stemming from a senseless execution to such a known personality such as yourself. Why would it, why it would surely create discord across the world? Instead, there is a more graceful way to correct a time paradox, and that is to correct it yourself, similar to how you changed time, a time once before. You want me to fix the time paradox? Correct, which is why I am here. I wonder if this dream we are in has anything to do with the time paradox. Unlike Azuril, your dreams are not being distorted right now. However, the current weight of the situation is no doubt affecting your subconscious, which in turn would be affecting your dreams. Perhaps there is a clue in this dream that could provide us a lead as to where the time paradox may lie. I only arrived as you were chasing after Sparky. Tell me what happened before that. Mitchell told Darkrai about the accident that turned him into a chimchar, how it caused him to separate from Sprout, lose his memory of the mission he was on, and how he met Sparky because of the accident's aftermath. See, I knew that you were a human in your previous form, but I wasn't aware of how the transformation occurred. Hmm, it seems that this accident might be the source of the paradox. The... accident? Mm, indeed. If you somehow found a way to prevent the accident, your mission with Sprout would continue, as Sparky would have never met you, and there would be no one to, re to mourn your loss, thus also closing off the cause of why you came back in the first place. Well, that still ends with our elim elimination, doesn't it? If we prevent ourselves from getting... Converted to a chim- uh, like transformed to a chimchar, but then get quote unquote deleted after uh, saving Temple Tower, we're still dead. But eh. if it's uh, what I must do, then wait, this all sounds plausible in theory, but how could we even do something like that? Allow me to take care of that. I believe you're familiar with the concept of a dimensional hole, yes? You're... you're not saying. Indeed, I am a Pokemon who possesses the ability to create dimensional holes. We can use one to travel through time and correct the paradox that threatens this world. I understand that you may need some time to make a decision, but we also don't have any way of knowing how much time we have before the spatial distortions take hold. I... I understand that, it's just... Before I lost my memory, I accepted that I would disappear forever, and then I was reminded that I would disappear if I accepted it for the greater good. But now? Do I really want to resign myself to that fate again? When I returned, I promised myself that I would never leave Sparky all this world ever again. My, resol uh, my, yeah, my resolve right now is to live on, to find a way out of this so that doesn't involve disappearing. And yet, you would risk a situation like what you witnessed moments ago? I... I don't want that to happen. It's just... I'm not convinced yet. I need proof that I am really causing distortions in the fabric of space. Right now, all I have is a legendary Pokemon witch hunting me. And dreams which may or may not be totally accurate to the truth. If my fate truly is to disappear, I need to know if I'm making the right choice. Very well then, I can provide you with the proof you seek. Wake up and join me at the top of Shapiro Bluff. Okay, 
I'll come up shortly. I need to do something before I go with you. I shall await your arrival. Mm, Sparky, if Dakra is right, if I really am causing the world to fall into ruin, this will be the last time that I will see you. I hope Dakra is wrong about this. A dimensional hole. So it really was Darkrai talking to me, and not just another part of the dream. Hmm, it's good to finally meet you, Mitra. Face to face, without the, the veneer of slumber. So, where's this dimensional hole taking us away? Taking us anyway? Uh, forgive me, I was so hasty I forgot to explain. We are heading to Spatial Rift. So, Spatial Rift, where Palkia lives. So, you have already heard of it. Yes, we shall meet with Palkia. They will be able to give you the proof that your presence is causing your irreversible space distortions. We must hurry, though. Cresselia will no doubt have detected that I have opened a dimensional hole. Although they can't open one themselves, we don't want to risk them intervening. Alright then, let's go. Alright, alright, alright. That Pokemon Mitchell was with looked scary. Hey, Rotom! You might be in trouble. Or worse, Mitchell might get stuck in a dungeon because I wasn't there to help him prepare. I must go forth and prevent disaster. Bro, <laughs> the fucking phone. Okay. It was certainly a lot smoother than when I last traveled through a dimensional hole. Although, it was more of a case of me being dragged in than going unwillingly. Oh, uh, oh, uh, well, this is awkward. Hey, Dakra is now my team member. Leave. Now. Or else you may be the reason the world falls into ruin. Uh, hold up, Dakra. I can explain. Uh, this here is a Rotom. They're, um, a helper, I guess? Well, I wasn't going to let you walk into a dungeon without my help. Just imagine that I was an integral part of some hypothetical dungeon-crawling adventure that you are a character of. You would be outraged about losing such functionality. So, for the sake of this hypothetical continuity, wherever you go, I go. Uh, Rotom can't fight in dungeons. Their only function is dungeon information. I'll sit in Mitchell's treasure bag and won't say a peep, I promise. Fine, but you're on this journey with us now. Deviate from our plan, and you risk the world's ruin. Eh, got it. If you'll need me, I'll be in the corner. Shaking in terror from how scary you are. <laughs> okay. Right now we are at the very edge of Spatial Rift. Palkia's chamber is in the center of this place. Wait. Why aren't we in Palkia's chamber already? It would be rude of us to barge into another Pokemon's domain. Palkia is not the most rational of Pokemon. I don't like the sound of this. You need not worry. I will be there to protect you. Make your final preparations and then we shall set off. Alright, as Darkrai is now on your team, you will receive their exclusive item, the Eclipse Rope. The fuck happened to the top screen? Wait, but that does also mean I can put away the Vault Charm. The rest is set up anyways. Oh. The team is not set up yet. The special processes are not run. Technically, uh, my team got cleared. And not put back together yet. Which is a bit weird, but... I guess... Look, I'll be honest with you, I don't like your new partner over there. He's got that I'm going to stab you in the back kind of vibe. But what do I know? I'm not a smartphone. I mean, technically, you are, but eh. all I know about is dungeon information. Alright, 20 floor high. We know that, we know that. 
15 and 20. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we do know that. I understand this expedition has come at very short notice for you, so I've taken the liberty of providing a Kangas rock. Take any last supplies you need. I shall join you when you're ready. Yeah, let's go. Let's hope they just set up the teams correctly. Yeah, right there, set up correctly. Nightmare Ominous Wind. Ominous Wind is rheumatic, right? In arm. Mm-hmm. I'm just there to no message the capital of action. Alright, alright, alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Why me? Okay, what was that? Heilige Scheiße. I believe in you, Darkrai. You could do this. You're almost dead. Cool. First floor. Nine. Oh, God. First floor and already died once. That's going great. And all of this for a dead end. Okay, that's annoying. Alright, Xatus are very annoying. Check. I'm not even gonna bother with the items. Uh, 103 and 104. Don't. You fucking kill this thing with pin missile. Why did they use torment again? Please hit. Oh my god! Well, that's the second death already. Please just die, Jolteon. Holy shit. Okay. We almost have the same situation as Para did. <laughs> With Pin Missile Man. Okay. Okay. Alright. You woke up because of bad dreams. Sure. 24 floors, by the way. And I already died two times in the first four floors. Why did I use flame wheel? Am I stupid? Yes, I am. That's going to be... something. Nightmare's fine. Alright, as soon as Darkrai steps into the room, they get uh, they get nightmares and just wake up. Alright, what is this? No aim scope. Um Oh, this I was thrown by the people fly wild in any direction. Okay. Don't know why I would need that, but. Also, do the ominous wind thing. Thank you. And now we disable Omen's win again. There's chat out. For some reason, spatial rip. Oh, there's, 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 there they are. Can I walk? Right. Nightmares, I forgot. Hmm. 
Yeah, food is food. Alright, 19. 86 belly. We're doing quite good in that regard, actually. Holy shit, is that a lot of damage? I feel like everything here is two-shotting me. Oh, nine. Don't fucking do it. Fuck you! Okay. Or death. Do I even have revival seats left at this point? Uh... I don't. Well, now stuff's getting interesting. Why couldn't he just have used teleport before? Why did he have to kill me? Also, 40% chance monster house on floor 15. It's kind of a pain. Okay. In other words, I'm fully expecting to instantly spawn into a monster house exactly now. Oh, or not. I should still be careful though. About the rooms I run into. That's just so much damage. All of them tend to two-shot me. I should... How many... Okay, I don't have that many orange berries, actually. I need both of us to hit. Good. And we made it through floor 15 without a monster house. Good, good. Yes, I would like to save. I'm glad you made it to the rest point. That means I can give you more specific information about the rest of the dungeon. Alright. Deep Spatial Rift is 9 floors high. Mods houses have a 6% chance. However, on floor 5 there's a 40% chance of a monster house. Floor 5, alright. Yeah. Traps and spawns and stuff is... Same. Maybe I need to optimize my programming on that last part. That's almost all the traps that can exist. Indeed. Let's keep going. And pray to not die stupidly. Okay, you know what? You get on this wind deck. Or this one. Six damage on the rapium. I'm gonna take your ominous wind away again. And it's dead. Hmm. X, I see. No, do not do that. Don't. Please just do me a favor and die. Thank God. I'll take the time to heal a bit. Flame Pro and Chattered. Flame Wheeled again. Missed it. But due to burn, I should be good, yeah. Please hit. Thank you. Hmm, escape orb. Yeah, you get Omnus Wind back. And you get Flame Pro it. Nice. 
Now you decide to use ominous wind. Good. M47, nice. Turn to normal stats. Okay, that's just dead ends. Assume this one is also just a dead end. I mean, there is a room, but uh, only a hunger seated side. Yeah, that's useless. Hmm, of course. Forty percent chance for Monster House, and we're good. As long as I don't end up dying stupidly now in the upper floors, I should be completely good. Well, being killed by Dark Knight would be one stupid way. Oh, I forgot to get more into walls. You get Dominus Wind back. Immediately kill that thing, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let me just quickly max elixir uh, dark cry so he has his ominous wind bags. Winds back. Can I kill this? Please hit. Thank God, man. I mix elixir myself as well. Get my flamethrowers back. Move up once, flamethrower. Of course, we miss. But hey, we barely live. I'm so gonna take an Ornberry. That's a Glade. you like to move out, please. That's another Glade. That's exotic. Bro! God! I just really do not want to risk it. Alright, that should be good enough. Insomnia, alright. Okay, last floor. Now we just need to not fuck it up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Spatial Rift Bottom! Huh? It looks like we've made it to the bottom. <clears throat> that must mean we're in Palkia's lair. But where is Palkia? I'm sure by now our presence is known to them. It is only a matter of time before they show up. Uh, tremors. P -p Palkia? Why? Why have you come here? Leave my domain at once. Forgive our intrusion, Palkia. We do not wish to bring you any malice. We're only here to obtain some vital information from you. This is Spatial Rift. This is my domain. 
I do not answer to those who come from the outside. Hmm, it seems they're not willing to meet us halfway. We must prepare to stand ground and fight. R right. The only way I can get the answers I seek is if we can bring Palkia to reason. You refuse? Then I shall be rid of... Then I shall be rid of you now. Anyways, then I shall be rid of you now. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Um... Please don't tell me I'm supposed to be that. Okay. Let's see how far I can make it this time. Okay, that could actually work. Also, Darkrai, do you not want to move? I'm gonna need to inflict two stasis at once, probably. To be sure. I genuinely do not know if, if, if Palkia can wake up from a nightmare. can wake up from nightmares. Um... Wait. Okay. I'm out of flame for us. It is still confused. Worst case would be that both effects quit at the, on the same turn. It seems like we're still good. All right. Hmm, they've been weakened. Now is our chance. Palkia, listen to us. We need your help with something. Right now, some Pokémon are becoming trapped in a nightmare that they can't wake up from. They say it's because of a growing distortion in the fabric of space. Fabric spelled wrong. The fabric of space. <laughs> I need to know, Palkia. Am I the cause of these distortions? You say, space is becoming distorted? Huh. Palkia is not enjoying it. Palkia? Palkia has stopped moving. Oh, no, th this can't be. Uh, Darkrai, what's... what is going on? Palkia has been... Palkia has been enveloped by the nightmare. Just as Azurel has. Uh, are you sure? I'm afraid so. If these spatial distortions caused by your paradoxical existence are able to affect even the wielder of space itself, it means that the power of darkness has spread so much farther. And time is fast running out to reverse its course. While Palkia wasn't able to give you the proof you saw, uh, we now have solid proof that you are the cause of the unending nightmares. So now, the choice is yours. Now, know that I will not force you to come with me. You must be comfortable with the decision you make yourself. The question you have to ask yourself is, what do you want this world to be? How do you want the Pokémon of this world to live? Hmm. Now, you be a good tier while I go fetch some Moomoo milk from the market. Wait, where's the babysitter? I think you're ready to be responsible on your own, my little sweetheart. R really? Mm-hmm. 
I'll be back soon. Be a good little mouse. Promise? Promise. Awesome, I'm home all by myself. But, um... What should I do? Oh, I wonder if Sparky's going to save Mitchell from that evil dark ride. Now, where's that book? Here it is. Okay, let's see. Meanwhile, back at Torpedo Bluff, Peach, uh, Pichu, morning was just about to break. With Sparky still unaware of Mitchell's departure. Good morning, Mitchell. Huh? Mitchell isn't here. It, it looks like he left a note behind. To my best friend, Sparky. I am sorry I had to leave you so suddenly like this. But if I had waited until you woke up, you probably would have tried to convince me not to go. You see, I have been keeping a secret from you. I hate the fact I had to keep the secret, but it was for another Pokemon's safety. It wasn't- it hasn't just- just been Cresselia that's been visiting me in my dreams. The Pokemon he saved us in Azura's nightmare. That Pokemon has also been visiting me. Their name is Darkrai. Darkrai has been investigating the special dis spatial distortions too, and came to the same conclusion as Cresselia. That I really could be the source of these spatial distortions that will eventually cause the world's ruin. But I'm not relying on Darkrai's words. So I've gone with Darkrai so they can show me proof of my connection to these spatial distortions. If Darkrai is right, I won't be coming back to Treasure Town. Instead, I will be traveling to the paralysis, paralyzed future and pre uh, to prevent the accident that caused Sprout and I to become separate, separated. That will correct the time paradox that's causing these spatial distortions. I know we were trying to find a way that doesn't involve my disappearance, but it doesn't seem like there's any other choice. I know it hurts, knowing I might have to leave again. I wanted nothing else in the world uh, than to stay together as Team Firespark. Deep down, I hope Darkrai is wrong, that I'm not the cause of the distortions in space. That would make me the happiest Pokemon in the world. Sparky. As much as you want to right now, please, don't come looking for me. If I am to leave, I want your final memories of me to be happy ones. I'd rather you don't see me again. Disappear again, I mean. Farewell, Sparky. But hopefully not forever. From Mitchell. Mitchell, you can't be. No, I won't leave you like this. You're not doing this without me. Let's go. Oh, there's someone inside Wigglecuff's office talking to him. And Chattod is there too. Ugh, I apologize for interrupting later. I need to help I need their help to find Mitchell. You? It's Cresselia, right? What are you doing here? It is. Wigglytuff, Chattod, why are you talking to them? Have you have you any manners, Sparky? You can't just interrupt other Pokemon like this. I know and I'm sorry, but. This Pokemon you're talking to is Cresselia. They tried to eliminate Mitchell and I when we were exploring Azura's light. Azur. Azur. Man, I can't. Azuril's nightmare. God. E eliminate? I didn't know such thing. How dare you throw such a baseless accusation at me? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not in front of the Guildmaster. Friendly friends, there is no need to fight, because you're both here for, same, for the same reason, right? What is going on? I, I've never seen the Guildmaster so unaffected by two Pokemon having an argument. Hmm, this should be a remote enough location to activate the dimensional hole. Cresselia I won't be able to find us here. There is still time to change your mind. Is this what you truly want? Yes. No matter how hard I try to fight it, no matter how much I want it not to be true, I have to accept that I that to fix this world, I have to leave it. So be it. With Palkia now caught in the grip of the spatial distortions, we are beyond the point of no return. This dimensional hole will take you to the paralyzed future. The world in which you and Sprout came from. 
back to where it all began. Now then, go on ahead. I will be right behind you. So this is it then. This is what my life comes to. When I started my journey as a human to stop the planet's paralysis, it really did mean that I was destined to disappear, huh? There really was no other option. When I washed up on that beach, I had no memory of anything, really. But soon enough, I made new ones. Memories of the guild, memories of Treasure Town, and memories of Sparky. It's a... Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? After what happened today, I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you. The way you led us through the cave, I've never seen such natural confidence. I think I can learn a lot from you. So how about it? Will you join me, please? Oh my, Sonic Growth. Oh, mine did too. We must have worked up a big appetite. We were so focused on rescuing Azura that I didn't notice at all. And <laughs> now thinking about food is making me feel even hungrier. I don't think Ch Chameko is too far away from calling everyone to dinner. Let's go ahead uh, downstairs. I'm putting my faith in you, Mitchell. Yes, I totally believe in you. Hmm, that adventure made me realize that I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day, I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's the dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. Please don't. I don't think a revivacy would be able to help you. It was pretty cool how Sparky's treasure turned out to be the key to finding the hidden land. Without it, we may not have prevented... Wait, Sparky's relic fragment? When we return from the future, didn't Sprout say... And if we're really laying low, you'll have to take off your pendant, Sparky. Pikachu seems to be common enough to the area, so you won't get... So you won't attract attention. But if you are wearing your pendant, everyone will know it's you walking through town. Yeah, good idea. I'll keep it uh, with you in our treasure bag. What a curious pendant. This is the first time I've noticed the pattern on it. If I go back in time to prevent the accident, we'd have never known that we needed Sparky's relic fragment to get to the hidden land. Oh, true, true. Mm, something wrong? Quickly now. Who knows how much time we have left. Get that, Darkrai, but if we prevent the accident, Sprout and I won't be able to prevent Temple Tower's collapse. We only found the hidden land because I happened to meet with Sparky. I'm sorry, Darkrai. I know we don't have much time, but we're going to have to figure out a new plan. Hmm, I see. I suppose we'll have to think of a new plan, Quick Smart. Luckily, I already have one in mind. Y you do? Yes, forcing you through the portal. Let me show you. Yep, I knew it. I'm so weak. W w what's going on? And to think I had it all planned out. But of course, there, is all, there always had to be some unexpected flaw in my otherwise perfect plan. This time, however, I made sure to have an insurance policy. Darkrai, don't waste your energy. You've, con you've just consumed a hunger seed. You're completely famished and unable to hurt me. You see, Mitchell, you may not know who I am, but I definitely know who you are. I've been waiting for this moment, the moment where I get my revenge on you. So then, this whole thing about being the cause of the spatial distortions. Mm, you catch on quick? It was a complete fabrication! Cresselia hunting you down, the prophesy... 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 Prof English... prophesy... prophesy... say? If you are descended to darkness, even the nightmare where your partner banned you. It was all to convince you to leave this world. With you out of the picture, I would easily be able to control this world. And turn it into a world of darkness. How dare you? Oh, spare me. It is only the natural way of this world. 
Pokemon have become too civilized, too domesticated. They have lost what it means to truly be Pokemon. And so, when I plunge the world into darkness, it will be survival of the fittest. Pokemon will be forced to revert to their natural, primal instincts, just as nature intended it to be. You madman. Hey, Mitchell. Sparky and Cresselia? Is this another one of Darkrai's illusions? Mitchell, so it really was true. The Cresselia we saw in Azuril's nightmare was a fake. Darkrai, this is wicked even for you. Taking advantage of an innocent Pokemon like this. Ah, Cresselia. The bane of my existence. I'm surprised you were able to find us. You could call it a stroke of good luck. I just so happened to be at the guild where Mitchell and Spark used to board at. Friendly friends, there's no need to fight because you're both here for the same reason, right? Huh? Cresselia was just explaining that they were looking to find Mitchell, and Spark has arrived without him in a panic. That means Mitchell is in trouble. He is? Then we must sound the alarms immediately. Guildmaster Wigglytuff, how did you know? You two are never seen apart. That's not normal. Well, when you put it that way... Hmm, Sparky showed me the note Mitchell wrote to him. Straight away I knew that your plan was to eliminate Mitchell. Our lives are inextricably linked, Darkrai. It is too predictable of you to have come to a secluded place like this. Hmm. I really did get careless, didn't I? But it matters not, for you will never be able to defeat me. Ah. Oh. We're surrounded. Darkrai, stop this madness and let Mitchell go. Hmm. As if I respond to your pitiful demands. Let me put this in simple terms so you all understand. Resist, and my associates will not hesitate to attack. As for your friend here, his power has been reduced to nothing. So if you do try anything funny, I'll make sure the next strike I make finishes Mitchell permanently. Ah. Man, okay. So, what's it going to be? Retreat and I'll let Mitchell live wherever this dimensional hole takes him. Truth be told, there's a double space. Even I don't know where it goes. Or, you could try and wait to stop me. But I'll be killing Mitchell in the process. Eh, but you'll be killing Mitchell in the process. This is insane, Darkrai! I won't wait around forever. What happens next is in your hands. Mitchell, I promise to protect you. Until the very end. But if I do that, Mitchell will. Darkrai will. I don't know what to do! Ah, Darkrai. I walked right into that trap. How was I such an idiot not to notice? And now, I'm isolated from Sparky. My attack power reduced to nothing, and I have no items to heal me. I guess this really is the end for me after all. Suppose I have to do it then. I can't stop Darkrai. I can't protect this world. I can't exist here anymore. But I can save myself. The promise I made when I returned, I'm not going to break it. Sparky, I won't, I won't let you make that decision. I will. Mitchell, what are you... Darkrai, I'll go. I'll go through the dimensional hole. Uh, are you serious, Mitchell? You can't give up, Mitchell. We can still win. We can defeat Darkrai together. <laughs> I appreciate the support. But look at me. I let myself get manipulated by Darkrai. I let them prey on my deepest insecurities. And now, I'm desperately hungry. And powerless. There's nothing I can do to save the situation. Except one thing, and that is to step through this dimensional hole. And how, pray tell, is this saving the situation? How do you possibly think stepping into the dimensional hole would stop me? You have it all wrong, Darkrai. I'm not doing this to stop you. What I'm saying is myself. What I'm saving is myself, Henry. When I came back to this world, I made a promise. By the way, really nice song. And that was to make the most of the second chance I got at life. I said to Sparky that I never wanted to leave this world again. But what I really meant was I never wanted to leave this world by disappearing the way I did last time. 
by stepping through the dimensional hole, I can still live a long, full life in another world. And if I go, Sparky gets to live on too. And everyone in Wigglytuff's guild, Treasure Town, Cresselia too. They all get to live on. And stop your world of darkness. <laughs> a foolish notion. Nothing will be able to stop me once I rule a world of darkness. Sparky, you promised to protect me, right? You could still do that by living on. If you're around, the memories of what we did will live on with you. I said the same thing the first time I disappeared. Retreat from here, live on. Mitchell, you can't go, I won't let you. <laughs> Remember, one move and you won't have a Pokemon to save anymore. Not that you would be able to do anything in any case. Rhyperia over there has, li has a lightning rod, rendering your electric type attacks useless. Damn. So powerless. I failed you. I, I cannot be strong enough to protect you. Caracelia, once I leave here, take good care of Sparky. He'll need a lot of time to grieve. Although, I've only just met you. My instincts tell me that you'll be able to provide that for him. I understand. My time here has ended. Wherever this dimensional hole leads, I must go there. Sparky, I'm sorry, but this is a goodbye. For real this time. D don't go. Very well. But if you so much as step one foot out of line, I will pulverize you on the spot. Hmm, I wish things were different, Sparky. I wish I wasn't abandoning you again. But now, there is no turning back. All I can do now is move forward. Okay, okay, I have to, I have, I have to test. Ah, oh, I can, I can't go away. There's no turning back now. All I can do is move forward. Yeah, it's having a button check, or any button besides moving forward. I also, can't access menus. Man, Mitchell, there really is nothing else we can do. I, I, I still don't, I still don't understand. Why can't you stay? Mitchell, please don't do this. I can't go through this again. I understand, Spike. That feeling you're feeling now, that feeling of grief, I feel it too. Though the parting hurts, what will remain will forever be in our memories. Memories of being Team Fire Spark, igniting the spark of inspiration and friendship. Mitchell, he's... he's gone. Man. I was more dramatic than I am, my wild... than even my wildest nightmares. Who would have thought that Mitchell would sacrifice himself willingly? But now, with my power to distort space at full capacity, the world is mine to control. Sparky, we need to get out of here now. Okay. Let darkness fall and return to the world that it sh uh, to what it should be. A world in which I am king. Okay. Thank you for playing Act 1 of Dark Rise Revenge. I know I'm cruel, aren't I? You just have to wonder what uh, has become of Mitchell and Sparky until Act 2 releases. In the meantime, if you want to discuss the heck more and share your theories, I have a Discord server. With I have a Discord server, it's obviously meant the Retold server. Uh, search PMD Retold on YouTube and there should be a link in my about page. Also, a full credit list will be presented once the story is complete. In the meantime, you can check out everyone who has contributed to the assets to this hack in the credits.txt file attached uh, to the patch file. You'll be sent to the main menu, uh, where we can pick up for Act 2 release. That's cool. Also, really nice menu art. Overall, we did spend almost two and a half hours on it. Or like, well, we spent more than two and a half. Anyways, <laughs> that has been it for Act 1 of Dark of PMD Retail Dark Reza Revenge. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching it and, uh, well, until the next time, I wish you all a great day, night, evening, 
whatever end. Bye.